بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته welcome guys to this tutorial and this is the second tutorial of, the, uh, of uh, menu bar as you can see this menu bar we are gonna create but uh, that menu bar was beautiful but this menu bar has uh, a drop down so it's a drop down menu today we are gonna create a drop down menu and uh, that's all we are gonna do so bear with me now we don't have anything now because I have created the code so first of all we have a basic um, basic uh, you can say basic stuff I have HTML head tag title style tag in which I have one file so I'm gonna just work with the style tag and I have body so in body I'm gonna say you are unordered list I give it class which will be main menu and just end it and end of an unordered list and after that I will start uh, start li means list item or list index some call list item and some call. now I'm gonna start an anchor tag a href and in here I will say nothing so hash close this and close a tag and let's name it home and after that copy this sorry copy after copying this we are gonna say paste it paste it paste it and the last one paste it so I'm gonna go in here and call it web designing call it web development and uh, contact me and of course about me about me by the way about me comes first but uh, I've just made a stupid mistake so in here I'm gonna copy this I know actually I already had it so I'm gonna go in web designing section and uh, put another unloaded list and if you are trying to learn menu you should know that you can put an under list in an under list so in here I'm gonna put another list index mm, I'm gonna make it a little bit easy to read and another one so I'll have two one two one or two actually two and first one will be HTML and CSS and second one will be let's say I'll name it JavaScript okay so let's see how does our thing looks refresh it yeah looks good I have um, list and another list another list plus sub another list so in here I have uh, of course another list but this list I'll just call it give it a class and that class would be sub menu so that everything looks good so in this style section I am gonna start give uh, CSS in it CSS in it so I mean I'm gonna give it stuff so first style will be for both of them for main menu and for sub menu and that will be dot main menu and comma means and sub menu and that style would be I don't want any padding so padding is equal to zero I don't want any margin so margin will be zero and the last one I don't want any list style so what will this one do it will say that let's say uh, let's see these dots which appear in here I don't want them so I'll just refresh and there are no dots but it is so I didn't put dot with sub menu because it's also class so let's check it out yeah good works good so our first intention will be to work in sub menu again but if I work and uh, do the sub menu uh, in here then I'm gonna create sub menu another sub menu is I'm styling class in here use this in here because if I do it in here 
it will also affect the main menu and I don't want to that, do that so I'll just say display I want the sub menu to display none I, I don't want to see the sub menu so if I refresh it sub menus goes now let's work with the uh, unordered list sorry dot main menu and list index and a and let's say I want the a to have background color mm, let's say brown and uh, what was that yeah text decoration none so what do I mean by text decoration you see the underlines I don't want them so I'll do this and I have the background color blue uh, sorry brown I want them to float in the left direction so let's check it out they're floating in the left direction and I want them to be displayed in block in a block design so it won't affect anything right now so let's add a padding padding on the upper side from top should 17 pixels and from bottom should be 14 pixels let's check it out if I we really like it we gonna like it yeah good I like it the last thing I want to do is give it a width of Oh, it's spelling incorrect spelling width of 100% and you'll understand why I'm doing this just now or oh, I even I don't yes <coughs> excuse me oopsie the width with under 100% uh, was very bad idea so I'll say I want it to be 900 pixels So we can't t uh, say to uh, tell it to have uh, 100. Okay, let's say I don't give it a width. We're it doesn't matter the width, but uh, I don't want to go in details for this because we are just gonna learn about drop down. So I'm gonna say I want a border. Okay, and. And top of the border should have uh, should be one pixels, one pixels, and should be solid, and should be white in color. And I'm gonna copy this all, C, and Control V, and this time I want it to be bottom. So a little bit styling doesn't hurt. And as you can see, so I'll say margin. So one pixels and that should work fine yes it's working fine and it should float in the left direction yep see that is the mistake I'm making and this is the mistake I'm again making so let's check it out yeah it's good now we have just designed a basic but beautiful thing so actually okay doesn't uh, mean anything we're gonna work on uh, you can work on it as you want no actually i'll do just, um, just a simple thing and that will be border minus um, radius and that should be 30 pixels Let's check it out. How does it look? Yes, sir. This looks stupid. Let's make it 20 pixels. Yeah, now it looks better, but not that much. But then it's nice to, ha uh, to have a little bit fun with it. So now I'm going to say that listen main menu. I want the unordered list, uh, sorry, list index 
to always float in left okay okay now I want to say that again to main menu that placing my menu go to list index and hover over it when I hover over it do something with sub menu okay so uh, I'll say display in blocks so let's check it out this was the one in block or blocks what was yeah it's a block what blocks are made it's my mistake and still it looks beauty 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 and let's say I want it to float float left so let's check it out yeah it can float that but uh, let's say float that no problem now I'm gonna say that uh, listen my menu I have a list index when I hover over it there is an other list index I don't want it to float in anywhere okay so what do I mean by that let's suppose grandfather says that I'm a grandfather when I'm beating my son means hovering mean beating my son I don't want my grandson to go anywhere well that's what did it mean okay so let's say dot I want now main menu do something like uh, when I hover over for my li I want you to do something with a and that is plot none again so let's check it out yes works so this was our menu looks stupid because I have added this border so I'm gonna take this border so, uh, border radius and when I check it now it looks good and I can just change it uh, change the way it looks I, I mean this doesn't show full of it full so I'm gonna check take this float and oh and that it's what knows not that plot I miss I miss uh, unconsciously unconsciously and uh, yeah this one so I will save it and let's see yeah it uh, I can see the full length and this is what it basically means you can just add background color background and say that it will be orange so as you can see it looks beautiful so you can work on it uh, for example you can just all you need now to do is for example copy this go in here paste it and go in here paste it go in here paste it so we'll see that if we refresh this has menu this has menu this menu this has menu and we are finished we have a very beautiful and working menu so Thank you very much for watch guys for watching if you have any question regarding this tutorial or other if you have and if you have any special request you can just ask me and Allah Hafiz it took me 14 minutes oh, it sucks